If you need any Ultimate Team coins, head over to footcoinking.com. There's a link in the description. And if you use my discount code CHES, C-H-E-S, as you can see on screen, you'll actually now get a 10% discount for the rest of FIFA 14. Hey guys, how's it going? Shez back again and welcome to episode number 107 of My Player here on Xbox One. Today we've got a one-off special of the Manchester Derby. Uh, unfortunately, only able to have one game today because I do want to have the Europa League final, which is the next game against AC Milan, as a one-off special as well. And uh, fortunately, it's a rather important game that we have in between uh, now and then, so uh, it doesn't really make too much of a difference with the fact that this is going to be a one-off game live com as well. So you can see we are five points behind Man City as we currently sit in third place in the Premier League, although if we win this away at the Etihad today, we'll be within touching distance of them as we head into the last game of the season against Cardiff to uh, to hopefully finish second rather than you know languishing in third or fourth. So if we could finish as runners-up in the league, that would be really, really uh, pleasing. Considering when we came to Man United, they were sat down in seventh or eighth. We've really helped push them up the league with our performances and our goals. Hopefully we'll be able to do the same again with this one so uh, hopefully you will enjoy of course there was uh, a live comment earlier on today as well actually in the Dortmund career mode of the Champions League final so definitely check the channel page for that if you missed it a really really entertaining game against Barcelona with Dortmund that uh, that went all the way so definitely check that out if you missed it there will uh, of course be uh, links to it on the channel page and if you missed the previous episode in this series there'll be a link to that as always in the bottom left hand side of your screen to, uh, to go to that video so you can check that out but let's jump in we've got Nani, Zaha and Eduardo behind us It'll be tough against Man City they're one of the best teams in uh, in the game and of course they will have strengthened between uh, the start of the uh, start of the series and now considering we're at the end of the fourth season quite intrigued to see who they've got in their team this, this time around but it's going to be a difficult game regardless City's lineup isn't actually as strong as we initially perhaps thought it was going to be. They've got Congolo and Rekic as their centre backs with Micah Richards at right back. Couldn't quite see who was playing at left back, although I think it's Gail Cleese. In fact, Rekic is playing left back, so I'm not sure who their other centre back is. Oh, Abdenor, who actually is a very, very good defender. But Nani could play me in here. If I can play this quickly to Eduardo, please get there. He has done. Eduardo has the shot, comes back off Mike Richards' feet. Chance for us to take the lead in the opening few minutes. They've got Jack Rodwell in midfield, John Gadetti and, uh, and Christian Benteke up top with Milner and Samir Nasri out wide. Not too sure who else they've got in midfield. It's Rodwell with... Uh, a central defensive midfield partner. I think it may be Javi Garcia. Indeed, it is Javi Garcia. So, a strong-ish City side. Some very, very good plays in there, but nowhere near as strong as they used to be with Aguero not there, Yaya Torre, no Vincent Company. Uh, we have previously seen City sides in career mode this year signing players like Thiago Silva. So, uh, pleased that it's actually a weaker side and maybe we uh, stand a better chance of getting a result here. It's going to be a difficult game, of course. Any Manchester derby game is going to be difficult. Any local derby game is difficult. You kind of, like the uh, the stereotypical piece is, you throw the form book out the window when you play games like these because players always seem to raise their game. Hopefully we can raise our game further than, uh, than our Manchester counterparts and actually get ourselves a, uh, a win. Are we going to get a corner there? Advantage for something. We do have the corner. That's a good start. Right, whip this in, please. We had one chance with Eduardo. It was well blocked by Micah Richards. That has come my way, and I am going to win the header. Oh, I was going to try and float that towards the back post. It was headed that way, but it's going to take a lot to get the ball over the top of Pantilamon and then back down because he's, of course, six for eight. We can nick the ball off them. I'd have the whole half to myself with an accurately placed lob through ball. Here's Christian Benteke breaking into the box. Good feet to get away from one defender. Finds Jack Rodwell. Gets the ball out of his feet and the shot is wayward. Decent chance for City. They build that up for quite a while, passing the ball about. In the end, the uh, the finish was just a little bit poorer than, uh, than the top quality passing build-up. Here's Eduardo. That's a nice little ball looking for Zaha. A call for the cross. It's come my way. Can I get there? No, Abdenor gets back to head it clear. Fantastic defending from him. I was... Uh, a little bit free there and it just came across me at the uh, the vital time that's a great ball by Fellaini into Zaha can he stand it up again he has done still can't win the header the other centre back gets ahead of me this time Congolo decent defending from City so far then really strong at the back which is probably one of the uh, the only places left in our game where we aren't to you know at our very very best we've got fantastic pace great finishing wonderful first touch but our strength isn't the best 
So hopefully that doesn't come to be our undoing throughout the game, although it seems to be causing us some problems so far. We'll pick up a corner here, though, just before the half-hour mark. Zaha does well. Abdenor, though, a very, very good centre-back, who actually may be someone I look to buy in the Chelsea career mode in that first season when we get going. But corner comes in, well headed by Diego Godin. Great save by uh, Pantilamon. That was a really good save up to his top right-hand side. Strong wrist away, and City can uh, retain possession and perhaps build an attack of their own. Nice ball down the side to uh, Javi Garcia, whipped in. John Gadetti looking to be underneath it. Defensive header away, right. Chance to catch him on the counter here. Eduardo finds me. He's going to continue his run. I'll use Fellaini, actually, rather than going all the way to Eduardo to start off with. I don't want him to get caught out because he is kind of just as weak as me when it comes to uh, the strength side of things. Here's Wilfred Zaha into Fletcher. I was hoping Fletcher was going to come my way there. I have called for it here. And now he might make me a decent run, and he has done, and we will find him down that right-hand side, breaking into the box ourselves, call for the cross, came in, question of a hand there, but we'll pick up a throw-in, as he was giving the ball straight to Chris Smalling, here's Eduardo, a call for a through ball, he's played it over the top, it's probably the best option there, considering the strength of the players around me, left foot across goal, oh my days, honestly man, I don't understand how we've got to the end of this fourth season and still only got a one-star weak foot. It's costing us time and time again now. That was a really, really poor shot. In first half stoppage time, it would have been a fantastic time to take the lead. I didn't have the space to get onto my right because uh, I wouldn't have been able to hold off the defenders. Had to take it on my left. Maybe if I'd have, uh, maybe I should try and start going for the near post with those left foot shots rather than trying to uh, to place it accurately across goal when my left foot isn't as good as my right. So uh, maybe that's a tactic we could use in the second half. If I do get a similar chance, I'll try and go for the near post with my left foot as opposed to uh, to the right, and maybe we'll see a little bit more success. City trying to have some success of their own down this right hand side. Milner with the whip, Penteke is underneath. The keeper comes out, but it's going to drop to a City man. They're going to pick up a corner here. I think that came off Smalling. Indeed, it did. First half stop this time. Then a chance for City, perhaps, to get a goal at the crucial time just before the break. After we had the chance the other end. Hooked clear, though. Only as far as Sami Nasri. Back to Javi Garcia. Back to Nasri. City really got the uh, the dying seconds left here. Up to Benteke. He might try the shot. Get it back at wide to get the ball back into the box. Jack Wadwell has done exactly that. Benteke is underneath it. Nkula gets it away, but only as far as Abdenor. Nkula with a great block. Abdenor, wonderful save down low by Anders Lindegaard. The ball finally comes away. That was a vital block. That was such a good uh, block in the first place from Nkulu. And then the secondary save from Anders Lindegaard was world class. We saw Pantilamon show a good strong wrist to deny us at one end earlier on in the first half. And Lindegaard did exactly the same at the other. We go in at the break at 0-0. It's Fellaini into Eduardo, chance perhaps right at the start of the second half, we'll try this shot across goal with a right foot this time, drops only as far as Marouane, Fellaini has to strike, got to get that on target Marouane, that was a great opportunity, my first touch took me a little bit too far wide, that perhaps I wanted to go there, and the shot came across, it was an easy angle for Ban uh, Pantilamon, he's got to get that on target, I know he's rushed with the man in front of him, but a player of Fellaini's quality should be putting that in the back of the net. Yaya Torre coming on for Jack Rodwell, you presume then that Yaya Torre must be of been having his stats drop considering he's now must be what 32 33 years old now in uh, the end of the fourth season and of course this year on FIFA 14 and as with previous years as players get 30 plus their stats drop dramatically that has been uh, addressed for FIFA 15 we've been told so fingers crossed there won't be such an issue next year and actually it might help us with a couple of older players in the Chelsea team for uh, for our actual opening career mode with players like John Terry and Didier Drogba, etc. So hopefully that won't be a problem for us. It's clearly been a problem for City with ageing uh, players, but Yaya Torre has come on now. He'll still be as strong as he used to be, so he's still going to be a force in that middle, but clearly they prefer Jack Rodwell in the, uh, in the first team. Yaya Torre involved here. I kind of get on the end of Michael Richards' pass. In fact, Richards has gone backwards to Milner, but City threatening with intent here, although they do seem to like to go backwards just to make sure they keep possession. They don't like to put themselves in a, a risky position by trying, uh, you know, adventurous passes, shall we say. Yaya Torre on the edge of the box now. And like I say, going backwards just to maintain possession. They've got a lot of red shirts around them, actually. Javi Garcia has been caught out there, and we've got the chance to catch him on the counter-attack. Now I'm going to have to use all of my pace here and then try and get the ball across. Looking for Eduardo. We have found him. Brings it under his control. Can he finish? Oh, it just escapes him. The chest control was good, but he fell to his knees. I don't know whether he was pushed in the back there as he was you know, bearing down on goal, but 
couldn't quite get any connection on it and it was tamely into the arms of uh, Pantillamon. That's really, really disappointing. I need to get inside the man here. I need the ball into Wilfred Zaha. I'll call for a through ball. He's going to find me. I'm going to hit this first time and we found the back of the net. Our first goal in a Manchester derby comes in the 69th minute away from home at the Etihad. Nice ball over the top by Wilfred Zaha. We did exactly what Eduardo couldn't just a few minutes earlier, racing onto a through ball, getting there ahead of the goalkeeper and finding the ball in the back of the net. It's Manchester United 1, Manchester City 0, off the base of my boot with my studs. Decent power into the bottom corner, lovely finish, we're 1-0 up. Come City down the right-hand side, Torre into Milner, back to Torre, back to Milner. Chance here for City, they've got Benteke in the middle if they can find him. Good ball in, good clearance from Smalling, but oh, good header from John Gadetti. Benteke and Smalling at the back post still tussling on the floor. Good header from Gadetti there. If he'd have got that on target, the goalkeeper may not have been able to dive for it because of the man on the floor. Now, I think he may have just been able to get there, but still, if that had hit one of those two and gone in, that would have been one of the... Most ridiculous goals we've ever seen. They're bringing Robert Lewandowski off the bench. And there's David Silva in the background as well. Why would you start John Gadetti over Robert Lewandowski in one of your biggest games of the season? That doesn't make any sense to me. Really doesn't make any sense to me. With Yaya Torre on the bench as well. They're playing some really weird players here. This, uh, this Manchester City side. Although I guess we don't play Robin Van Persie. And uh, you know we could quite easily play him in that cam roll behind us. So... I guess it works both ways. Abdenor down the left looking for Samir Nasri. 15 minutes left to go in the game. They're into our box, City. Looking for the ball back to Torre. Hooked clear. I need to win this if I can. Oh, Michael Richards is so strong in the air. Of course, he's on loan now at Fiorentina in real life for, for at least a year, I think. I think it's a, a season-long loan. Do really well, I think, in Serie A, Michael Richards. be nice to see him get some first-team football as well, because he deserves it. He is a top-quality player when he isn't injured and gets a chance in the first team. So I do wish him all the best, actually, at Fiorentina. It would be nice to see him you know, get himself back in the England picture, etc., because he's the sort of player that we're missing right now in that England lineup. I'd rather play him at right-back than fucking Glenn Johnson. But Yaya Torre is up to Robert Lewandowski here. Just 10 minutes left to go, less so than that now. Lewandowski into Yaya Torre. Can he get it into the box? Benteke and Lewandowski waiting. Here's Lewandowski. He scored four goals the other day for Poland in a 6 or 7 0 win against Gibraltar in a, uh, in a European qualifier. Nani gets the ball to me. Now can I race away? Eduardo should be able to play me through this gap here. Please run, run, run. I've got the pace on the defender. First touch is good. Second touch is good. But so is the save from. Pantillamon, his nanny, and drops to the edge of the box. He'll find me. Now, can I do you with a turn of pace? No, Javi Garcia tracks me well and nicks the ball off me. He only gets that inside to Lewandowski. Now, does he still have the pace in his legs to get away? You'd like to think he does. Well, actually, I'd like to think he doesn't, but he probably does. Here's James Milner again down the right hand side. Gets the cross in. Benteke waiting. Lindegaard and Smalling, mixed with the two of them, get it away. Bodies on the floor falling over everywhere there. We're into the 90th minute now. Look like we're going to get three points unless City can, rea can create something literally right now. This is going to be their final chance to grab something from this game and they're not going to get the chance to create something. We are going to get all three points from this game. We said it would be vital if we could get all three. We're now in within touching distance of City at the top of the league thanks to that goal from us. Rather well taken goal as well from that ball over the top. A couple of good saves from both goalkeepers in this one. That was that save from the uh, the corner from Bantillamon. You get 7.1 rating, the goal, 80% shot accuracy, which is nice, and 100% pass accuracy. Pleased with that. That brings this episode... Well, it doesn't quite bring it to a close. I'll have a quick look at the league table so we can see what the, uh, the situation is going to be like when we head to the Cardiff game, which will be on Saturday. But next episode on Thursday will be us playing in the... Uh, in the Europa League final, sorry Dan, I'll be there in a second. We'll, uh, we'll be playing the Europa League final on when, or in game on Wednesday, in real life on Thursday. Of course, you're seeing this Tuesday evening. There will be another Dortmund Career Mode episode tomorrow, as always, and uh, of course there will be uh, actually some FIFA demo content tomorrow night as well, if uh, if it's out in time. So hopefully 
we'll, uh, we'll still be doing double uploads every single day until the end of FIFA 14 and the early release of FIFA 15 where I can start bringing you some full FIFA 15 content. But that's going to bring this one to a close, guys. Thank you very much for watching. We'll have a quick look at the league table as we end. But if you enjoyed the video, as always, feel free to hit that like button and uh, hopefully we can hit over 100 to 150 or so if uh, that's possible. That'd be really good. Subscribe if you haven't already. There'll be a link in the top right to do so and in the description. As you can see, we are within two points of City now, though. Although we do need a win and them to lose because their goal difference is far, far superior. And I'll be honest, I don't see us getting a 9 or 10 goal win against Cardiff. So uh, still got a lot to do, but it is possible. We have definitely assured ourselves Champions League football or the club Champions League football. Of course, we won't be continuing after uh, we finish this season. But still, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Please with that 1-0 win. And I'll see you next time.